Hello everybody, welcome once again. My name is Chimeze and this is Papa Tattoo Ministry. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. I pray that the messages that you listen to will bless you and inspire you or motivate you to continue in your work with the Lord Jesus Christ. If this is not your first time here, I want to say a big thank you for coming back again. I hope the messages have blessed you. Papa's Heart Ministry is basically a platform where we share God's word. We are learning each day, each season, as much as the Holy Spirit is building us up and we are growing and we are learning a lot. So this episode and the series we've been having since the 15th of this month has been a series of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for 18 days to the end of the year. And that is to say thank you to the Lord for all that He has done, for many things that took place during the year. And we just want to come out. I just want to come here to say thank you and to encourage you, no matter what situations you are going through, see this as an opportunity to also be thankful to the Lord as you come to the end of the year. So, today's episode is about being grateful for opportunities that the Lord did not permit me to get involved with. So, what do I mean by that? We had our into education. And I had some opportunities to do some business with some schools and different management. And I had gone, with my sister and I, we had gone through all the process of doing a presentation. In fact, we had other people who were like competitors. We had all of that. And um, we did all our presentation. And our own products were, and our services was preferred instead of those people. We are more preferred instead of those people. But after we had completed everything, we had agreed on prices, on the agree we have done our agreement and all the processes that we are going to go through. We had our agreement signed, and we just needed to wait for payment to come in. Now, in the meantime, while we were waiting, the Lord gave a revelation concerning this particular client. And the Lord showed in a vision, in a dream, that there was something of divination that had to do with this client. Believe me, this business opportunity would have been something that would have really be of, be of a blessing, financial blessing to my company. It would have opened other, would have created, he actually brought other opportunities and would have helped us to grow. But when the Holy Spirit revealed those things, it has to do with things that had to do with, it's not something I can share here, but there were things that had to do with things of divination. And the Lord practically took me into the into the premises of the school. We opened, revealed things. So it was a, it was a Muslim school, yes. And yes, being a Muslim school doesn't mean that I can't do business with them. It's a product I'm, I'm offering to them. But the Lord opened my eyes to see that there was something of more that meets the eye. Took us into the school premises, showed us things that had that were being carried out in the school. Why he didn't want us to get involved with that. And so by the time we came out of that vision, I just knew that the Lord was saying, do not get into business with this particular client. Like I said, we've already signed our agreement. We've um, gone further to show and done, done everything necessary that needed to be done. But then this is the feedback the Lord is giving. Now, somebody else will be saying, how are you sure the Lord said so? How are you sure it's not just an imagination? You see, as a child of God, when you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus and with the Holy Spirit, there are so many things that the Lord will, will reveal to you as his child. And secondly, there are things that the Lord will make aware to you, and then He will watch to see if if you can trust Him with those situations. Do you know that even after we made up our mind that we were not going to go further with it, it's been more than seven months. The school just never called back again. It's as though they also were aware, because the Lord showed me some of, some people in the management who were first hand into those things of divination. I believe somehow maybe they must have discovered that these people may have known something and decided not to get involved anymore. 
Now, as a child of God, the Lord watches to see. This is not the first time that the Lord has revealed something about a client. We have had clients in the past year. As we walk into the office, the Lord tells us, Oh, this person has made their office an altar for, for strange gods. So don't come into this place again. There are times when the Lord has revealed so many things. So this year, this is one thing that the Lord said to us. Now, there are so many people who wondered why they need to go ahead to do the business. But we said God has given specific instructions. So why am I thankful for that? I'm thankful because the Lord brought us to a place in our work with Him where He can reveal secrets. So our business is not just I'm just doing business to get to get profit to, to, to get to be financially um, um, uh, improved. We it is God's business, it's a partnership with the Holy Spirit. So it is what He wants that we do, not because we want to do it, but it's basically what He wants. So that is what we have made our business, our finance, everything about the business is all about him. It is what he decides that we do. So every decision that he makes, we do it exactly what he says. So I want to say thank you to the Holy Spirit that he could bring us to that point in our work with him where he could give he, he is confident that when he gives us such revelation, we will under have an understanding, a discerning heart. And then we walk in obedience to what he is trying to communicate to us. Also, it makes it gives us it gives us it puts us in a position whereby the Lord knows that these things do not hold us. So we are not, it's not as though the finance has now gotten a grip on us. No. If the Lord says walk away from anything, we know that we will walk away because he comes first in our life. So is there something in your life? Have you gotten to that place as a child of God where the Lord can trust you? Then even if he says, walk away from this relationship, walk away from this opportunity. Yes, it, is, it, is, it, is, it looks very, very promising. But the Lord says, walk away. You've put all your efforts. Of course, we spent money flying to the place, accommodations and everything. But... Compared to obeying the Lord, the obeying the Lord is more important than all those things. So I encourage you today, if there is something the Lord is speaking to you about, don't start negotiating. Because God has something much greater. In fact, it was after that prayer, the Lord brought us to the point where we even had to produce our own devices. We never knew. When we got started this year, we never knew that we would be starting to be producing our own devices. We are always getting from other manufacturers. Now it is produced in our own name. And it is done exactly the way we want it. So there are so many things that the Lord will test you to see if you can follow through, to see if you can, can do it his way, like he did with King Saul. King Saul was all particular about what everybody else would say and all about pleasing the flesh. And the Lord said, Why did why obedience is better than sacrifice? So what we have done this year is being in that position where the Lord knows we will always obey, no matter the circumstance. So once again, thank you so much for joining. If, if you are listening to this and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you to have a relationship with Jesus. So let me pray with you. Just say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and I believe that you died for me. Please help me today. Help me to live my life in the way that is pleasing to you. Please come into my life. Help me to be more like you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and direct my path. Bring me to that position where I can trust you for every circumstances. I can trust you even when I do not see or understand what the situation is all about. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, thank you for being here. And I say God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.